Hello everybody, welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Today's date is July 10, 2016. It is Sunday. Our discussion today is going to be on utterance. In Acts 2, 4, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. 1 Corinthians 1, 5-6 that in everything you are enriched by him in all utterance and all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you. In 2 Corinthians 8, 7, Therefore, as you abound in everything in faith and utterance and knowledge and in all diligence and in your love to us, see that you abound in this grace also. Ephesians 6, 19-20 And for me the utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bounds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Colossians 4, 3, and 4, with all praying also for us, that God would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in bounds, that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. Now I'm getting here, uh, some filled with the Holy Spirit spoken tongues. When this is done, there must be an interpreter. If not, this is to be a private language with God. We are enriched through the Holy Spirit and have received all knowledge within our utterance of God. Through our utterance and diligence, we acknowledge that, in, that God is in control of our lives. We should not be afraid to open our mouths boldly and speak of Jesus. Sometimes when we pray, we do so in utterance to God. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.